work. Idleness, standing in the midst of unattempted tasks, is always proud. Work is always tending to humility. Work touches the keys of endless activity, opens the infinite, and stands awestruck before the immensity of what there is to do. Work brings a man into the good realm of facts. Work takes the dreamy youth who is growing proud in his closet over one or two sprouting powers which he has discovered in himself, and sets him out among the gigantic needs and the vast processes of the world, and makes him feel his littleness. Work opens the measureless fields of knowledge and skill that reach far out of sight. I am sure we all know the fine, calm, sober humbleness of men who have really tried themselves against the great tasks of life. It was great in Paul, and in Luther, and in Cromwell. It is something that never comes into the character, never shows in the face of a man who has never worked. Phillips Brooks No man is born into the world whose work is not born with him. There is always work, and tools to work withal for those who will. And blessed are the horny hands of toil. The busy world shoves angrily aside the man who stands with arms akimbo set until occasion tells him what to do. And he who waits to have his task marked out shall die and leave his errand unfulfilled. James Russell Lowell